Hello, and thank you for joining me for the All Signs reading for Wednesday, January the 19th. Let's see what messages come out for the collective All Signs. For Wednesday, January the 19th, Angels and Spirit Guides. Divine messages for all signs. Okay, thank you. We're going to stop there. All right. So, our first card out here is Speak Your Mind. We see these two are having a conversation on top of a castle. It looks like it's um, either sunset or sunrise. Um, and each of these people have a cat at their side you may have a small uh, companion animal that's going through life with you at this time um, if you don't have a cat yet you may be considering getting one no 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 you're not you're not laying down on there <laughs> sorry someone thinks that the tables for him Okay, um, yeah, so uh, these seeds, like as these pe two are um, speaking their minds or sharing ideas here, these seeds are blowing off into the wind and they're like spiritual seeds that are going to be planted to come up as like flowers in the future for you. So I feel that there is going to be a significant conversation that takes place. And then we have listening to wisdom. We have the spirit guide of the crow there. You may um, feel very connected to this spirit animal. You may have been very much aware of crows in your environment um, over the last year. I mean, you may have a spirit guide that actually shape shifts into a crow. Um, so you may find that you're like outside or like doing your shopping or whatever. And then you'll all of a sudden you'll like notice a crow fly by or like caught at you or whatever or you may feel that the crow is actually speaking to you because um, crows are intelligent enough to learn uh, human words um, so you may have felt this it's like the crow is whispering in her ear there so this crow could be also symbolic of your ancestors you may be clairaudient you may actually be getting messages from the spirit realm in the form of words um, directly into your ears that sound like a person's voice. It's like she has her eyes closed and she's listening there. So they may want you to do some meditation where you just listen and sort of see what bubbles up from spirit. And then we have um, number 38, Remembrance. So this reminds me of like an Indian headdress. So headdresses are usually worn by um, elders or people in positions of power. And it says the frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in a body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. So I feel that you are going to be um, doing this. You're going to be um, using this valuable information um, that that you've gotten from all of your experiences. 
And then we have affirmation for positive change. You can see this person here has completely um, changed their clothing, changed their outfit. They've gone from like this, um, like a woman's dress to like a more like um, pirate outfit or more like a witch outfit. Um, also, we can see that she's taken off her jewels there and she's left them on the tree. We see two necklaces on the tree. You may feel that you're leaving uh, behind one identity completely and completely changing your um, how people uh, see you in the outside world. We see all this magical energy or like this energy of spirit flowing around this boat here. So you may feel like very much led to go on this adventure, if you will. Like she's she has her eyes on that ship in the distance. So there may be something that you really have your eye on, um, a goal that you're moving towards, and you're getting a spiritual assist. Again, we see the cat, familiar, is also on the boat with her. And then we see a mermaid in the distance that is waving at her. Um, so be sure to look at mermaid after the video. There will be additional messages there. Also, I'm noticing the ferns like on the side of the riverbank here. Be sure to look up fern after the video. There will be additional messages for you there, like the plant, spiritual meaning of fern. And then we have number 26, empowerment. Empowerment, we see like this, these magic wands, these like five magic moon wands almost that look like they're coming out of the center of that magical, like, I don't know, flower thing in the middle. It says the frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely, uniting us with others and the deep trust that we all are connected through the same source. And then we have number eight, alchemy. So this reminds me of like gears spinning together or like, so there may be um, three distinct things that you're transmuting or changing form, changing those into a, a different form from their original form. It says the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. Um, I'm also noting the, noticing, noting the upward uh, pointing triangle and the downward pointing triangle on this card. Be sure to look those up after the video. There'll be additional messages for you there. Then we have number 36, Prosperity. Beautiful card. We can see all the different colors. They're represented by all the different chakras in the body. So this Prosperity is going to take, going to need energy from all of your different chakras in order to be um, materialized or to be brought down to the earthly plane. And we have, oh, it doesn't want me to hold it. The frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, and soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides. So the word sing is really sticking out to me. So you may have, um, you may have like a very nice singing voice or you may be very talented singer. This might be an avenue you might want to explore for your prosperity. Um, and then we have one root chakra. So again, we see all these like interconnected points of light here. Like these actually look like interconnected triangles. Again, we saw the symbolism of the triangle in this previous card. Alchemy. The frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life, stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies as well as in the physical world. And then we have number 11, belief, which reminds me very much of like a compass 
So it's like your beliefs are like you're guiding, guiding your direction. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. And then we have joy and delight. So we see this witch here is um, doing a cartwheel in her garden there. Her pets are running around her. It's like everyone's having fun. She has an abundant uh, harvest there. Her picnic basket filled with like bananas and um, apples. And she's got some wine and some cake. So, um, very abundant energy here, very much enjoying the fruits of your labors, uh, so to speak. <clears throat> I'm noticing the poppies in the, at the bottom of the card, and also there's a big field of poppies in the background. Be sure to look up poppies. There'll be additional messages for you there. We see the sun there shining really brightly. Um, the sun is always a good sign for abundance, prosperity, you know, uh, happiness. Um, Leo energy with the sun, well, we said it, it um, you know, is representative of your courage as well. She's wearing an orange and red dress, which is very much um, speaks to like the, the sacral chakra and to the root chakra, both red and orange here, which both of those cards came out. So we see that um, divine, um, you know, echoing there of that same energy. And then we have learn from life, but I like to think of this card as learn to fly. So you're learning to fly, just like the switch is getting on her broom and getting ready to fly. You've learned a whole lot, all these books here. It's like you've been reading up. Oh, again, we see the triangle there. Symbology echoed in a book there. Um, so I feel very much that you've leveled up quite a bit. You've learned, gained quite a bit of knowledge. And you're now ready to take flight. We see this arm of someone else who we assume is some sort of a spiritual teacher. We can't see their body. We just see their arm. So you're getting encouragement from some spiritual source to help you to learn to fly. I think that's going to be a very magical experience for you. And not only will it elevate your status, it's also going to inspire others to um, go for their goals, go for their dreams. So you're going to be like a light for others. Okay. Then we have healing waters. We can see this witch here is at a waterfall. Be sure to look up waterfall. There'll be additional messages for you there. Um, we can see that this person, this witch, has come out of this very dry, deserted area. So you may have come through a very, what felt like a very much a dry patch in your life and now you're more at the source of this water, the spring of water. Um, healing waters, it says at the bottom, so you might want to actually do like, um, so if you take a bath or a shower, you might actually want to say the words like out loud to the universe, you know, like this, these healing waters cleanse my mind, body, soul, and spirit and heal me um, completely. So we have meditation for creativity. You can see this person is like magically, it's like this fire energy is like shooting out of that wand and like um, painting what looks to be a phoenix on that canvas, like a phoenix rising kind of energy is what I'm getting from that. Um, also, I'm noticing the two pets are also um, painting pictures. Uh, so you may like to paint or create or have your pets around you while you create. Uh, you may have a small cat and a small dog. Or you may be thinking about getting a small cat and a small dog.
this person is very relaxed and very much comfortable in their energy like you may paint or do some other creative endeavor where you feel you're very much relaxed and very much into this fire energy you may not necessarily be a fire sign but you may be embodying this type of spiritual creative like inspirations and then we have tears of joy and sadness so there may be some uh, lingering energies of sadness that um, um, spirit is asking you to process those emotions so um, you know if you feel like you need to cry then go ahead and do that it's um, you know I saw uh, or I heard a saying or saw it on somebody else's video or something and it was um, when this when the eyes have no tears the soul has no rainbow like so basically like in order to get the rainbow you have to like process those tears and that's all a part of being human like it's not there's no weakness in crying it's just a human emotion that we all have right so it says tears of joy and sadness so there may be um, a significant joyful experience that is going to be coming into your future that will make you to cry these tears of joy so that whatever that is for you it may be like a significant relationship come in that you've waited a very long time for it may be like a promotion that you've worked very very hard for um and maybe some other achievement you may be getting an award or some other kind of recognition um maybe tied to these creative abilities maybe you're a, you produce art form in some other form like video music or uh maybe write books or write poetry whatever that that is i feel like there's going to be a significant accomplishment coming in for you within the next year and then we have go with the flow so right away i'm noticing the first thing that draw to my attention was that willow tree in the background so be sure to look up willow tree there'll be additional messages for you there after the video so see how she's just dropped her oars there though behind her and she's not worried about trying to propel this ship forward not worrying about trying to steer it She's just letting that flow of the river just to take that boat wherever, wherever it goes. And Spirit is kind of telling you to like let go of that need to control or to try to control the outcomes. And just let that spiritual boat drift on down the river and see wherever you end up type of thing. And then we have imagine and envision. So Spirit wants you to use your imagination to help to fuel your prosperity so we see various um you know items like a, a diamond ring which to me signifies maybe like a marriage relationship we have like a bag of money um, a goldfish a butterfly a unicorn like a four-leaf clover a castle a crown so um, whatever it is that you're desiring in life spirit wants you to actually visualize um those things that you want to materialize in your 3d and to really spend some time doing that she's got a book in front of her that she's drawing and so you might want to get a book where you draw sort of like the pictures of what you want to manifest in your life and then it looks like she's maybe even coloring them in i don't know um, you might want to do that. You might want to draw pictures and color them in of what it is that you want to manifest. Like if you want to manifest a new house, then like draw a, a new house with like all everything the, exactly the way that you would want it. And then we have number 44, universal love. So we see this energy is like growing outward there from um, that inner point. <clears throat> These kind of remind me of, I don't know, mushroom heads the frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other to our planet and to the whole of existence itself 
So I feel that you very much are feeling this connection to the whole of existence and to everyone and every being that is connected energetically to you. We have number 28, Gaia. The frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another just as we are to the Great Mother and to the universe that birthed us all. So this is an earth energy, but even though this card is very much blue, which to me like symbolizes like a water energy or like the third eye chakra energy. So you may be getting a third eye chakra upgrade in connection to this earth energy. You may be having like um, prophetic dreams or like dreams where angels visit you or spirit guides visit you and there it's like you remember the dreams after you wake up it's very much connected to the psychic energy of Gaia and uh, the third eye and then we have a uh, number two sacral chakra the frequency of the sacral chakra the orange flower of life supports our ability to flow with our desires and stimulates our creative power to manifest success and abundance in our lives so I'm noticing this ring this halo so you may be feeling very much guided like a spirit being is like guiding you um, on your path at this particular time like an angelic being that's what I'm getting from that halo there's an angel that's guiding you guided telling you like Giving you little like psychic prompts like here and there, like letting you know that you're on the right path or which direction to go in. Now we have affirmation for growth. So spirit wants you to spend some time actually saying uh, what you want to grow, what you want to manifest in the 3D out loud. We see this witch here with this small seedling that she's planted. Um, you may also be, you may have this nurturing energy where you like to plant flowers, you know, vegetables, I don't know, whatever, a kind of a, even maybe a balcony garden if you don't have, if you don't live in a house. Um, so I'm noticing the cat here is also planting seeds. This orange ginger cat, you may have seen an orange cat in your environment. You might or own a orange cat. An orange cat may somehow be very significant. Looks like that's her small little house there in the background. You may live in a small house. I'm noticing she's wearing the color green here, which is representative of the heart chakra and also noticing that I've never noticed before this downward triangle on her dress which symbolizes like divine femininity nurturing softness um, you know caring all those type of energies also it looks like her necklace looks like she's wearing a north node symbol on her necklace so you may be feeling like you've really found your North Star, you've really found your, um, you know, your guiding uh, light or like w what, which way you're supposed to be going in life. You may have felt like you didn't have direction for a very long time and that you found, finally found your North Star and are moving in that direction. I'm going to pull a trinket. So we have the leaf symbol which symbolizes it's a very powerful symbol of transformation the plants take um, sunlight and water and they transform them into growth so transmute that energy into growth so I feel like you're very much are going to be taking um, energies that come into your field and you're going to be transmuting them into growth we're going to put that on prosperity then we have the zero or the O or the victory wreath here. The zero holds all potential within it. 
Again, I'm feeling like a victory. Like you, you're maybe getting an award for your creativity. We're going to put that on meditation for creativity. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so very much for watching. And you have a wonderful day.